Chris here with Barnyard Outdoors. Today, let's talk about camp boxes. Specifically, my toolbox that I use as my camp kitchen box. The box I use is actually a rigid toolbox. And these are actually stackable. You can get three different sizes. And uh, I saw, I believe it was Rachel in real life. She did a lot of car camping and she was showing her camp boxes and it was these exact ones. So I kind of liked the way she had the things laid out. So I went ahead and bought them. This would have been probably, oh, almost three years ago. And uh, it's evolved and it's changed. And uh, what I've tried to do is condense some of that instead of taking three boxes with me everywhere, just getting it down to a, uh, a smaller, more manageable size. So what I liked about the rigid toolboxes is they're, they're toolbox, right? It's built tough. It's built to take a lot of abuse because people put tools in them. The other thing I really liked about these is that there's a seal around the edges here and that seal makes this weather resistant. Um, I've had this out in rain and snow and just let it be exposed to the elements and I've not had any problem with water getting inside this box. Now I'm going to do some more tests on this because I got something new on the top of my car that uh, is set up so I can carry this camp box easily and uh, save some space inside the vehicle. So let me go ahead and open this up and we can take a look at each of the items I have inside the box. I can show you exactly what I'm carrying, why I'm carrying it, and how I've got everything laid out and the system that seems to be working the best for me. Before I take everything out, I do want to talk about the layout and how I kind of store things in here. I try to keep everything organized in its own bag um, and keep the number of loose items very minimal. And I do that because I need to be able to take things out and not have items fall down in the box to where uh, then I need to move things around to get things back in. So for an example, I can pull this bag out, my little kitchen possibilities kit, and you can see nothing's fallen down. And then if I wanna make coffee, I can grab this, pull the coffee out. I don't have to worry about things being in my way when I just need to put things back in the box. And that's really important when you're using tall items like this because you can't have things underneath them. It's just not gonna fit properly in the box. And then I keep everything in the gear attic that I'm going to need um, that needs to be replaced more often. So if I decide I'm gonna make coffee at a campsite, I can pull out my coffee percolator easy, and then I can just reach up here and I can grab my filters for that. So there's, there's a lot of convenience in this and a lot of organization that took me several years to figure out. It's a good system, it works well for me, and I hope uh, that maybe you learn some things to make your camp boxes maybe a little more organized or uh, make it a little more, more enjoyable using something like this when you are out camping. Now, let's get to the breakdown. Now, there are a couple custom things that I have done to this box, nothing, nothing major. I put my, uh, my little Barnyard Outdoors name tag on the front, and so I attached a little piece of Velcro on the front there. And then inside, I added a gear loft. And we'll get into this um, as we're going through everything in the box. There's really no good angle to do this on, so uh, bear with me. So we're gonna start in the box with some of the, the common items I carry. I do carry a couple of, these are Fireside Outdoors gloves. These are good for handling logs and hot pans directly on the fire. Speaking of fire, I always have this little setup with me. Now, remember this box is for car camping, right? So I've got myself some fuel and I've got one of these attachments on there. And this allows you to start fire easily, which is, is good. Like I said, car camping. I have everything in here, including the kitchen sink. This is a Sea to Summit collapsible kitchen sink for cleanup, obviously. I have my GSI Infinity mug, and inside this mug, first off, you can see it's got measurements on it, so it's a measuring device. And then inside here, I have two more cups. I have a uh, the Fire Maple Titanium cup, 
that also has measurements on it. You've seen me use that in a couple videos. And then inside that, I have this tiny little cup. This is from uh, Boundless Voyage. And this thing, I think this is uh, 200 milliliters. It has measurements on the side and it has this cute little lid, which is good for keeping bugs out of any little cocktails you're trying to put together. So inside this bag, I have things like cutlery and spices and all sorts of little add-ons and, and items I might need when I'm camp cooking. And the nice thing is I've got a hero clip on it. I can hang this off the side of the table if I need to, but I get into this bag a lot. It's nice to have everything organized in one bag. I have a can of Isopro MSR fuel, and we'll talk about what this is for either because there is a stove in here as well. I have this, my favorite and most important piece of camping gear when I'm out car camping. This is my Coletti percolator, a 12 cup percolator. I need that, I drink coffee all day long as long as I've got it, so this works perfect. Plus, I've got enough coffee to share. Right behind that, I have this, another wax canvas bag. And in this is my fry pan with the brazing rack and the lid. This is the Pathfinder 8-inch fry pan. I have a Tom Shoe tall windscreen, and this is a 8 section. That's why I put eight on it. I have a little collapsible tripod, and this I can use to hang the coffee pot or any other pot with a bale on it over a fire. I have another wax canvas bag, and inside of this wax canvas bag is two camp grills. So I can use those and I can use the small one for baking inside my bush pot. I also have another grill because I was out testing this one and I really like it. This is the Kuvik titanium grill and you can see it's, it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. I have a cutting board, of course, for doing any type of meal prep. I can also use this as a serving tray. And then I have this other wax canvas bag, and this has a lot of stuff in it. This kit I built out for two people. So I've got two bowls. I have one bandana here. This is to help keep things from making a lot of noise. This is the Pathfinder 48 ounce cup, and inside that, in another bandana, is the Pathfinder, uh, I'm not sure what the size is on this. It's the smaller cup. So I have the small cup as well. I also have the lids for these. So here's the lid for the 48 ounce inside of the bush pot. Inside the bush pot, I have another small cutting board. And then I also have one of these uh, leather pot holders made by Firebox. These are, these are nice and they fit perfectly inside the bush pot. And like I said, there is the actual regular size bush pot. I have the lid for that as well. And then at the very bottom of this bag, I have two plates. Oh, and apparently I have another one of these grills for baking. So I'm, I'm finding extra items I have in here. And then inside this bush pot bag, I have the fish spreader, which is for hanging either one of these cups over a fire if I need to. And then I also have a set of pot grippers so I can use the plates if I want to as a frying pan or if I need a, just a, a decent way to get a pot off of the fire. And that's it for inside. And wow, that's, that's a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. And we're not done yet. Up here in the gear loft, I try to keep items that um, I know I need to restock after a camp out. Everything else pretty much just stays the same. I do need to make sure I've got the right amount of fuel in there. But this is where all the items I need for 
cleaning, um, items that need to be refilled after a camp out, anything I need to manage this kitchen successfully. So if you look inside this netting, I have, I got a Ziploc bag. This has got some of those expandable towels. It's got some other cleaning towels and scrubbers. This is for cleanup when I'm using the sink. I have these, which are very important for the percolator. These are some uh, filters that go into the percolator so I don't get as many grounds as you would get in a normal percolator. And then uh, over here, these are just some grocery bags, right? I think there's four of them in there for garbage, for putting dirty things in. Back behind here, I have my splitter, which is the long handled uh, spork and spatula that connect together and can be used as tongs. Right here at the top, perfect place for my MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. I've got that fuel. If I'm in a situation where it's raining and I just want to heat up some water or something inside my tent, um, right here I have this wilderness wash. I don't know if you've seen these things. I found this at REI. It's nice. It's got the soap and the scrubber and the scraper. And uh, you flip that around when you're ready to use it. You can squeeze some of the soap right out the bottom. It makes a great cleaning tool. And over here I have, this is one of those Big Sky International bags and I'll use this if I'm rehydrating a dehydrated meal. And the last item I have over here, just clipped to the side, this is just a little flashlight and uh, it's got a clip on the back. So if I need to work in my kitchen box at night after dark, I can have a little light up here. And then the, the light also has uh, a red mode, which is, is kind of nice. I, I primarily just use the white. So this is everything that I have in my camp box. And like I said, this is a kitchen camp box. It's got everything that I need if I'm preparing a meal, cooking a meal, serving up a meal, and it's perfect for two people. And honestly, if I wanted to take it up to four people, I would just need to add you know, a couple more bowls and a couple, couple more plates. So this, uh, this gear attic, this is not something that came with it. This is something that I added on. I actually found these on Amazon. You get a pack of these little mesh things in there for cars, but uh, there's little screw-in connectors that it actually mounts to. And what I did is I just glued them in there. I had some pretty good strength adhesive glue, glued those in uh, about a day ago, and they seem to be working great. And this is, a, this is just a, a great little add-on. The thing to keep in mind with this is that you can't overstuff this, especially if you have a lot of stuff in the box or you won't be able to close it. So keep that in mind. That's one of the reasons I keep it full of kind of flat items. I also keep this full of the items that I will need to replenish after a camp out. I don't want to have to dig through the box to find out what things I need to add. I want to be able to look up here and say, oh, I'm out of coffee filters, or I need more towels for cleanup, or I need more soap for cleanup. Everything is right here on the top. So when I get done and I get everything cleaned up, get everything back in the box, this camp box is ready. I know if somebody calls me at the drop of a hat, I can say, well, let me grab my tent, let me grab this kitchen box, and we can go out to the campground because I've got everything I need. So I'm going to get everything packed back up in here, real easy to do. And then I will uh, show you how I put this into my roof basket and, uh, and why this, is, this has just been a great box for me. And I think this is a, this is a good solution. And that's it, all packed up. So as I mentioned, I love this rigid box. And when I purchased my Yakima off-grid basket, one of the things that I liked about it was that I had an adjustable crossbar up here. So I adjusted these to where they are the perfect sizing for the rigid camp box. So let me put that up there. Perfect. 
fits up there, I can easily strap it down. It's not gonna go forward or backwards because of the crossbars, but it makes a, it makes a great solution, especially uh, since I've pretty much just given up on being able to pack less stuff for a camp out. I figured just make the car bigger, right? Throw this on top. So if you have any questions about my camp box or my setup or anything, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Remember to like this video if you like this type of content. I've got some other boxes and kits I'm putting together for camping. Um, so make sure you subscribe so you can see it when those videos come out. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Mm -hmm.